Hello there folks and welcome back for yet another thrilling installment of Twilight Princess. Now, when we last left off we were looking for smelly kids, I do believe, so... Let's crack on with that, shall we? But, um, you know, also I did this? So, I tried to remember controls and stuff again and... Dealing with slowdown all over the place, apparently. Isn't that just delightful? Uh, but yeah. So it'll probably take like the first couple of minutes of this episode before the emulator warms up properly. It's just really weird having to deal with tech that it has to warm up. It is utterly bizarre, but I genuinely think that's what's happening. It takes a couple of minutes, oh shit, for the tech to like, uh, very get copacetic and ready to go. Case in point. I mean, perhaps I should just leave the emulator running for like 10 minutes before I actually bother trying to record. Just wait to hit like that sweet spot, that stable point. When all the resources are probably allocated and whatnot. The bridge is gone. Yes, yes, it is, Midna Love. Is this the work of those shadow creatures? Can't see why they'd break the bridge. To be quite frank, but possible. Get your oh god, not the map. Editing ahoy. Well, you know, literally speaking. Oh god, that's ugly. Why is that so ugly? So I don't get when you zoom out, it's fine. But as soon as you zoom back in, you get all this weird distortion shit. Like some of the files are corrupted, but not all of them. I don't understand. Uh, I think I want to go north, downwards. Is that where we saw the bridge? It's which one's closest to the temple, basically. As far as I recall. Hmm. Yeah, I can't decide whether or not to cut that out. I probably will end up cutting it out, but... I might leave it just to show you guys what I'm dealing with when it comes to maps. We're here. Yes, we are, Midna Love. Yes, we are. No, most people can't leave the twilight that easily. You better be grateful. It's your job to look for the bridge. And look hard. I can see it in the top left corner of the screen already. Oh dear god. Minimap, go away. You're drunk. Go home. Oh, fucking buttons. Ah, no. Just gets worse and worse, doesn't it? Okay. It's perfect, don't you think? It is pretty much the bridge. For some bizarre reason, teleported all the way over here. Never I did understand that in time. I don't think he ever explains it in game either. Why random little objects in the game get teleported to different places like this. God damn it. Not for that zoom in. That would have been fine. Again, amazing telegenic powers. I don't think she ever uses directly in game ever again. Which I mean, you know. In theory, if she could lift an entire bridge, Minna could quite happily force choke pretty much everything we encounter. I don't think she ever really does. Sadly. Ah, building bridges, helping people. In a grand to be a hero. Or something like that, I don't know. Yeah, the mini application for screen flow is just close. That might actually free up some resources. Just as I thought. Isn't the power of twilight amazing? Mm, it's pretty bitchin'. Call me again if you need the power. To help you find what you're looking for, don't you think? Right, let's get going. Ugh, go away, map. You're drunk. Told you before. You're drunk. Nobody likes you. All the things I have to deal with, you know? Excuse me. Weird moblin creatures. For some reason the moblins don't get spiritified, they just get a power-up, which seems grossly unfair to me. What are they doing there? Pretty elaborate gate. What are they trying to keep in? Or out? That should have been reversed, actually. To imply they're keeping something in. Oh well. Mine is not the question, mine is the mine's the adventure. Couldn't remember the 
out and buttons. But yeah, that's the problem with using a PlayStation controller rather than an actual GameCube controller to control this. Nope. Let's try that. Surprise! Tell your friends about me. At least you would if you weren't so very, very dead. Ha 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 and indeed ha ha. Ah, fun times. Yakariko Village. Weird how that things existed in one form or another throughout every single game, isn't it? You know, that's sort of the thing of, you know, Zelda and Nintendo games in general, that stuff just continues being there in various forms, but even so, we'll find it weird. Right, one down. Game of play. There we go. Bye, guys. I should probably pay attention when a giant wolf being ridden by a shadow creature enters your town. Might just be that to kill you! Yeah, no. To the hero who was transformed into a blue eyed beast in the realm of shadows in twilight. This way. Morgan Freeman? You become a spirit? You are in everything these days. I am a spirit of light. Also, Morgan Freeman. Hero chosen by the gods. Look for my light. Gather the light stolen by the shadows into this. Uh, button. There you go. You got the vessel of light. It's crucial to collecting the tears of light. Fill with tears of light, plus go through the twilight, return this place to normal. Decrease your game lag and frame loss by a good 10%. It still baffles me that it, you know, a game that's, what, at least 10 years old now, if not more, takes this much strain on my hardware. It's ridiculous. Insects of darkness. They are the form taken by the evil that has attached itself to my scattered light. In this shadowy twilight, the shadow insects are invisible, much as the people are from your world of light. With the last of my power, let me mark your map with locations that the tears have turned into shadow insects. Really, Morgan, you don't have to, mate. Because I'd, I'd prefer it if you didn't, in fact. My map is an horrendous abomination against man, god, and machine. Be careful. The darkness now hunts you. Well, that was ominous. In all fairness, the darkness has always been hunting me, so... Can't really say fairer than that. Uh, graveyard this way? I think. The trail leading this way. I remember the kids being in the graveyard though. Hmm. Oh for fuck. Again, like I said, last time I played this was on the Wii, so literally everything is reversed. Every I sh I'm used to coming into town from like the other direction and shit. This is very disorientating. Very, very disorientating. Just trust me on that. Crepes! How the heck am I supposed to babysit someone else's little brats when I ought to be saving myself? I don't know, random Scottish man, how in earth are you supposed to do that? Nothing else is going to be an exercise in uh, how many accents I can perform in a single sitting. So there's always that. Hey, you can climb up there. Uh, button, button, that, there we go. If you remember what the buttons are, that's the hard part! Oh god! And then we fell and died, and that was the end of the game. But thankfully not. I think that's a hard score. Ah, cutscenes. These at least play okay. You know, for the most part. Cripes. I don't see where those black brutes have got to. So I'm taking liberties, I know. They've got to be hiding somewhere, waiting for their helpless little prey to come out. And then... Blue Feast! Also, name of an amazing ice cream, by the way. The Feast. 
You're safe as long as we remain in here, child. Be at ease. Oh yeah. I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. They sure didn't seem impressed by my bombs. How long do you think we can hold this sanctuary against beasts that strong, eh? Once they attack, it's over! Do you remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her, and the whole gang from town went to save her. And what happened? She was already gone, and there were two monsters waiting. You connecting the dots? It means if we get attacked by them, it will be. be. be tackled! No. Barnes! You've got a Scottish name. I'm sorry, I remember more than I thought I did. And Beffy's just really scared of Scottish people. Because she's racist. Which would make sense, coming from a tiny little village in the middle of nowhere. Look, Ronaldo. What I mean to say is risky here, too. Ain't you got some place we can hide? There is a cellar. I wish he means a sex dungeon. You can tell by the expression. What? You got a cellar? Where's the entrance, man? Nothing else. Perfect dentures. So he's got that going for him. The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all of the candles have been lit. What a very weird system. I would not do that. When father instructed me to secure the cellar, I saw insects like the beast outside. Don't crap if you should be okay. Get away from me, you failure. You're so always coming to save us. You're so always to save us all. I am indeed, except for you, Colin, because I don't like you. Nobody likes you. Your parents asked me not to save you. Oh, I, I can feel it. Yes, indeed, Colin. Yes, indeed. These kids you knew come save them, eh? What a hero. Such sarcasm. How sad to be right in front of someone and not be noticed at all. Keep it a dialogue there, believe it or not. You were chosen by the gods, and only that keeps you from turning into a spirit. Or worse, into a dark monster when you enter the twilight. What is the distinction? What causes the difference? Are we implying the twilight somehow assesses your moral character and makes determinations that way? You're the type to worry about everything, I can tell. Don't fret over Princess Zelda. She chose the state of affairs after all, at sword point. Well, at giant squiggly... Dead like monster point. But yes. Minna, you can't point that out. You can't make fun of classic Zelda tropes. Not in the game. I think she's the only sidekick that does that as well. Actively points out how bizarre and silly some of the uh, the tropes of Zelda games are. Such oh fuck. Such as lighting uh candles to open doors and such. You have to have some, some sort of advanced heat sensor. I mean, you can get away with it, you can wave your hand and go magic. That's the kind of world that Zelda exists in, but even so. Not a reason to be deeply suspicious of Ronaldo is the owl statue. We remember the owl from OOT, don't we? Rau in a furry form, or feather form, however you want to uh, look at it. Wasn't good, basically. Ow! Stupid bug. Die already. What if you die? That's the first three tiers of the area. Now, I remember this particular zone for some reason being an absolute pain in the ass to find all the tiers in. I cannot for the life of me remember why. I have a terrible feeling I'm going to be reminded before this is out. Well, speaking of out, uh, some of you may or may not be aware by the time this airs, Nintendo have gone through another one of their bizarre attempts to stifle Let's Plays and other creative content. In so much as, 
basically what I want you to do is to sign up to a uh, basically an employee contract with them where they will give you some of the ad revenue for let's play videos that they steal off you back in return for you signing a contract agreeing to abide by their terms and conditions which is retarded quite mildly and uh, the list of games will actually allow you to play even in that state is ridiculously small which doesn't help now I think I've Obviously, I don't monetize these videos anyway, because yeah, there's no point, to be frank. I wish I'd love to do the whole professional let's play thing. I don't think it's ever going to happen for me, but. Point being. But, uh, I think I've gotten away with not having to mess around with anything like that. Because I'm playing the GameCube version of this game. Now, one of the oldest ways to defeat um, content ID scans is to mirror the video footage. For some reason, that always confuses the ultimate rather simple program. Now, of course, because the uh, content ID system for this game is based on the much more popular and much more prevalent Wii footage, where all the footage, all the uh, stuff is already reversed, the content ID system doesn't seem to flag the GameCube version of this game at all. Much to my amusement. Especially means I can do pretty much whatever I want. In this game, at least, without getting noticed, I'm, I'm keeping half an eye out on like my Majora's Mask stuff. In case they uh, kick up a fuss over that. That's been up for years with no one noticing, so I don't really think it's going to be an issue. But, uh, why can I not push this? That's the wrong button entirely, that is Z. Uh, no, can't push it, can I push it on this side, maybe? Can't remember if there's any bugs in, in the graves, you know? Grave robbing for fun and profit. Uh, apparently not though. No, no bugs under there either. Let disappoint. But yeah. So far I've not had any issues. I don't know if me adding the weird borders is helping as well. But uh, on the, if that does start happening, I may end up having to drop this series because Nintendo are an absolute pain in the ass when it comes to content ID stuff. I mean, seriously, they will go for absolutely everything that YouTube allows them to do. In terms of monetization, in terms of channel bans, and all sorts of other shite. They really just don't get the whole Let's Play thing. So, uh, if that happens, I may end up having to drop this series, so I apologize in advance. I mean, it's the same issue that plagued um, my brief attempt to Let's Play Wind Waker. Got like an episode in and got threatened with copyright strike, so I have to stop that immediately, you know? Wrong way. Where the hell is it? Oh, there. No, don't dig! Not now! There we go. Killing billiards for fun and profit. Much happier about that. Much happier about that. Uh, but there we go. I can't remember which button it was that lets me look around. Uh, wow, that's a weird effect on Death Mountain if you do this. Hmm. Oh yeah, and Death Mountain in this game, I think, just looks pretty bizarre in general. It doesn't look like a mountain, it looks like a blob of lava. I always thought it was a strange design choice. Ironically, it looked more realistic in the other Zelda games. And realism was like, you know, the main plug of uh, Twilight Princess. Wee -dee -wee -dee -wee -dee. Ah, there's one in the pipes, isn't there? Of course, I forgot about that. To get him out, I need to light a fire, and I can't remember for the life of me where the stick is. Sure, I'll fire just as I walk around. More Twilight Moblins? Right, motherfucker! You dead! You dead, son! Shepard can't do finishing moves as a wolf, actually. I would have sped that up a little, you know? Oh, speaking of just thinking of killing things and chests and stuff, apparently there's been another. Ocarina of Time glitch discovered. Um, that can, it starts off with the uh, no actor glitch, which is um, when you go in and out of tunnels as Child Link, if you walk off the screen and activate another function, such as, you know, reading a sign or something like that, it'll have various effects. I mean, sometimes it allows you to open doors that shouldn't be opened yet, uh, in the case of the bottom of the well. A lot of times you read signs, it'll lock off 
the game, and the game will activate properly and allow you to walk through loading zones and other things you shouldn't be able to go through. The camera will be locked. You'll be able to see what you're doing. There's a new way of abusing this, wherein if you take damage while you're still um, in that exiting the tunnel cutscene, which lasts for quite a while, and then immediately open a chest, the game will incorrectly retrieve the um, item number of what should be in that chest, and depending on what type of chest it is and where it is, will give you a completely uh, incorrect item. I think the example that's used most commonly is in the any percent runs, where um, if you open that chest that's where all like little baby gomas are, so you go through the tunnel, get damaged by the baby goma, walk over and open the chest, the game will load the item code um, for a bottle with a full dose of blue potion in it. Which means if you're going down to the bottom of the Deku tree to do like the Ganon door skip, you don't have to go to Kakariko Village first anymore, at all. You can just grab your sword and shield and go straight to the Deku tree. That you can get a bottle from inside using that glitch. Which then means you can do the whole bottle bug glitch and activate the Ganondorf thing and... You see, the, almost the entire run is based on tricking the game into loading the wrong things. Which I think is pretty cool, actually. Let's see, shouldn't there be a stick around here? Stick? Oh, right. Right by the fire, of course. That actually makes sense. Just me being a dumbass and not bothering to check. I need a stick. Perhaps I should check the firewood. Oh, come on. I set fire to the ground, but... That's a very precise hitbox of that. Bizarrely precise, in fact. Right, where are you, you little fuck? There you are. Throwing fire at it didn't help, surprisingly. Very surprisingly, considering fire is what hurt it to start with. It made it come out of the pipe. Perhaps it was the smoke. You're supposed to use smoke to get rid of certain bugs and kill them, aren't you? Is that, is that, is that bees? Smoke, for some reason, calms bees down. Which makes no sense. Then again, the bee makes no sense as a creature, let's face it. Something that deadly and that impossible, aerodynamically speaking, making something that delicious in terms of honey. Nature is bizarre, what can I say? You, nope. bit of stutter and slow down again. Though, oddly enough, the game isn't performing too badly now that the, uh, the emulator has settled in. And different areas seem to respond to your sense mode in different ways. Like, there are some areas where activating sense would increase my FPS because it blocks off how far Link is actually seeing. Other cases, it'll treat it as like um, an additional overlay effect and that will decrease performance, which makes no sense to me. You just literally have to mess around to see what I need to do in what areas to get the best performance out of this. Platform in the middle of nowhere that has absolutely no purpose, apparently. Genuinely no purpose to this, okay. Mm. Oh fuck. Ah, because it's very, actually very difficult to take fall damage into Twilight Princess, isn't it? Good. Definitely glad of that. I think I've cleared the inn now, so... I guess we go check the top end here. Just, I, I'm sure I remember, like, tears being hidden inside enemies in some of the later stages. I can't remember when that starts. So much jumping around waiting. Die already! Gotta get a finishing move as a wolf at some point, surely. At the moment, wolf combat takes... Despite being the fastest paced in terms of character movement, it takes forever. Death Mountain up that way, apparently. Always good to know. Uh, bomb shop. Bomb shop. Hmm... Anything behind it. Ooh, wait. Dig spot. Dig spot. Which I could see through the edge of that building. Let's, let's pretend we couldn't do that. Rupee, apparently this guy buries his roops. Makes kind of a sense, I guess. Hmm. I don't know if I'm even bothering to collect rupees at the moment because I can't remember what stuff I need to buy. Yeah, you know, what's actually mandatory, I mean. Ooh, fuck. Ah, window. Yes, I get you. Enter all sort of a Legend of Zorro 